I am not looking at the lens right now. Well, technically I am. Technically I'm looking at the lens, but that's not what my eyes are focusing on. Even though my eyes aren't moving side to side and it appears as if I am looking directly at the camera lens, I am actually reading every word of this video. So what I'm using is a device called the Parrot Reader, and it's basically a new take on the common teleprompter. A teleprompter is the device that shows you some text at a controlled speed and you read from it, or you look at it if you forget your words. Now normally this device is some external screen placed above, below, or to the side of the actual camera so the news anchors or whomever else is reading it can look at or near the camera while actually reading and it appears as if they're actually looking at the camera. The pair reader on the other hand takes a different and far superior in my opinion approach to this problem and instead just puts the teleprompter directly in front of the lens. Okay so how does it work? How does the lens not just pick up the text? Well, the Parrot Reader is cleverly designed in my opinion and is actually genius. The device is a hood that you mount onto the end of your lens and then they have a clear piece of glass in front of it angled at 45 degrees. So what this means is that you can look out of the lens and see right through the glass to what your subject is. And that's not the genius part. Everyone knows that you can see through glass, it's clear. The genius part is that they have a little spring-loaded shelf that holds your cell phone. You open up the Parrot app, or any teleprompter app would do, but they made one for ease of use. You start the script and place the phone facing upright. The glass reflects the text outward because of the 45 degree angle and displays the text directly on the glass and thus directly in front of the camera lens. The result is me being able to read every word of this video exactly as I wanted to without breaking eye contact with the lens. So some of the physics nerds out there are probably already wondering how the text is not reversed when it comes through the reflection. Well, the Parrot Reader app has an option to mirror the text so that it can be read in this way. In the app, you can adjust the text size, the speed at which it scrolls, and a bunch of other settings to get it exactly the way that you want it to display on your screen. I got this thing a year ago and there is a version 1 and a version 2. This is the second rendition and I seriously love it. I don't think every video should be scripted. In fact, in a perfect world, I could say what I want and it would just come out perfectly eloquent the first time. However, since I am not perfect and some videos have so many topics that I want to hit on in a timely manner, I use a script sometimes and I think it works really, really well. I really love the Parrot Reader and if you are someone who writes scripts for videos, I think it could be the best money that you could possibly spend. More so than lights, more so than a new lens, and even more so than a new camera. The actual device is just plastic and some springs, so it seems like a stretch to spend 99 bucks on it, but it works so well that it's just hard to complain. They also send you something like 8 or 9 thread adapters so that you can mount this thing on any camera lens, and I've used them for things other than the Parrot Reader more than once, so that's a nice bonus I guess. I honestly do not think that this product could be made any better. If it was made of metal, it would be too heavy and weigh on the camera lens. And if it had a built-in screen to do the teleprompting, it would cost more and also be heavier. I think the only possible way it could be better is if they made it into maybe a small mini version. The default mounting hole is around 70 millimeters in size and I shoot on an A6300 with the kit lens which has a thread size of 40 millimeters. So I have to put a lot of adapting rings on sometimes and my microphone often hits the top of the hood because it's so large. So maybe one day they could release a mini version of this that is somewhere around the 50 millimeter range. But then again, I would have less glass to read from, so maybe not. I cannot recommend this thing enough. More than any of the other products I review, this thing is a buy for sure. If you guys liked that video, hit that subscribe button, and if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comment section down below. Anyways, later guys.